<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to do a full um, week 16 uh, NFL uh, recap for for um, all the other games this week from uh, all from the um, two Saturday games from uh, all the Sunday games besides Lions, Vikings, and Cowboys Dolphins because I done two separate recaps for those. So. Uh, yeah, let's get to the two Saturday games to start off with those, and then we'll get to um, all the Sunday games besides the two I just mentioned, and we'll talk about the um, primetime game tonight. And I'll do uh, probably Ravens 49ers tomorrow. But the first game we'll talk about here is uh, Pittsburgh beating Cincinnati 34-11. Now, the Steelers absolutely dominated dominated this uh, game the first half. They were up 24-0 at halftime, absolutely freaking destroyed Cincinnati throughout the whole game. Besides the quarter where Cincinnati had 11 points in the third quarter where they got a big touchdown from T. Higgins at two points and then the field goal. So that's that. Um, Cincinnati's offense wasn't too great. Jake Brown was 28-42, 335 yards, one touchdown, but had three uh, interceptions. Probably the worst game of uh, his season so far. He's done bad against the Steelers, but the rest of the but all of his other games, he's done good except against Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh just has a really good defense, and they just know him well because they played really well against him uh, all the times Jake Manning's played him. T. Higgins had a great game. Five catches, 140 yards, uh, one touchdown. But um, Mason Rudolph saved the day for Pittsburgh, going 17-27, 290 yards, two touchdowns. Najee Harris finally had a pretty decent game, 19 runs, 78 yards, 4.1 to carry and a touchdown. Calvin Austin got his first career rushing touchdown. George Pickens, four catches, 195 yards, two touchdowns. Hell of a game from uh, George Pickens after all that. After all that criticism he was getting rightfully deserved, he comes out and puts up a nearly a four-catch, 200-yard performance. Him and T. Higgins... Went bar for bar, having great performances. It's just the three interceptions is what costed the um, uh, Bengals, and that fourth and inches they didn't get in the first half. Just everything went wrong for the Steelers in this game. So Steelers uh, won that game. Uh, we had we had the other Saturday game, which was pretty good as well. Um, the Chargers or the Bills being the Chargers, 24-22. Uh, Josh Allen was a uh, 15 to 21, 237 yards, one touchdown, one reception. Had two rushing touchdowns, three total touchdowns. Uh, James Cook 20 runs, 70 yards, 3.5 carrying, 4.8, five for 24 yards carry. Forgot they even had for 4.8 honestly. Uh, James Cook didn't have too good of a game as uh, the Dallas Cowboys game, but he still eh, two fumbles could have cost him. But Josh Allen uh, with three total touchdowns helped him win. Gabe Davis four catches, 130 yards, one touchdown. Stephon Diggs five catches, 29 yards. He's had like nine straight games with a 100 yard game. Is it time we st talk about Stephon Diggs not being wide receiver one anymore? I mean, that that has to be a conversation because he's been really bad these last freaking nine games. I mean, I know they've been running the ball a lot, but. He just hasn't been good. Ace and Stick, tw 22 of 33, 215 yards. They're lucky Justin Herbert wasn't playing. His East, this East and Thick guy's fucking trash. Uh, he held him to the ball too long, taking so many unnecessary sacks. The Bills are lucky uh, fucking jo Justin Herbert didn't play. Because if not, they would have freaking lost. I don't know how I feel that about the Bills. They come, they looked really against the Cowboys, but they didn't take... I don't know if they took this game seriously. They're probably thinking, oh, they're going to lay down, not fight hard in this game, but... I don't know what to think of Bills. I, th I mean, I, I, feel, I think they're still good. I just don't think they took this game serious. The Jets beat the Commanders 30-28, to getting a field goal. The freaking Commanders were down, what, fucking, what, 27-7 at one point? They come all the way back and took the lead, and the freaking Jets hit a field goal to win it. The well, Commanders dominated the third and really fourth quarters of this game until Greg Zerlin hit a 54-yarder to freaking win it. The Jets improved to 6 and 9 with a crazy win. They blew a 20 point lead and then needed a light freaking last second field goal to win it. Like, that was crazy. A freaking Howell got benched because he was like 6 of 22 for like 50 yards and 2 picks. He had 2 picks here. They bring in, bring in Jacoby Brissett. He was 10 of 13, 100 yards, 1 touchdown. Uh, Chris Rodriguez was 10, had 10 runs, 58 yards, 5.8 carry, 2 touchdowns. Chris Rodriguez looked pretty good, but he had a boat on his right foot in the locker room. Like, he wrote, he wrote his freaking ankle. But Chris Rodriguez looked pretty good. Some life out of uh, Chris Rodriguez and the O-line. 
uh, Jacoby Brissett, and they come back in this game. Uh, Logan Thomas, five catches, 36 yards, had the one touchdown. McLaurin, three catches, 50 yards. Samuel, one catch, 16 yards. Dawson, two for 31. Antonio Gibson had a rushing touchdown, three total rushing touchdowns on the game. Uh, Trevor Simeon, uh, I mean, Simeon had, was 27 to 49, fucking trash. 217 yards, one touchdown, one reception. Um, Brees Hall, 20 runs, 95 yards, 4.8 carry, two touchdowns. Yeah, now he decides to do good with my freaking fancy team. Like, what, fucking five and nine? Uh, uh, Baconda, 9 runs, 43 yards. They run the ball pretty well, I thought. Uh, 12 catches, 96 yards for Brees Hall as well. Had it, finally had a freaking good game for me in fantasy. Uh, Brown Lee had the receiving touchdown, and Garrett Wilson, 9 for 76. That was a crazy game. So many close games uh, today here in Week 16 of the NFL. Um, let's get the next one here. Uh, Bl or, uh, Browns beat the Texans. Uh, Joe Flacco with another great game. Uh, 27 to 42, 368 yards, three touchdowns. Yeah, he had two interceptions. One of those four halftime, so who cares? Um, they really struggled to run the football. Um, Ford and Kareem Hunt each had touch touchdowns, two total rushing touchdowns for Cleveland in this game, but 1.6 and 1.7 to carry. Houston done a really good job defending the run, but it really didn't matter when um, a Cooper has 11 catches, 265 yards, two touchdowns, and a Joker with a touchdown. Mari Cooper had probably had the best performance of his career. Case Keenum got fucking benched. He was 11 of 17, 62 yards, two picks. Case Keenum's just not good anymore. Uh, Davis Mills, 15 of 32, wasn't much better passing, but he had two touchdowns, at least no picks. Um, the touchdowns went to Nico Collins and um, Andrew Beck. Their leading receiver was Don Schultz with eight catches, 61 yards. The only reason this game was even closer, this game wasn't really that close. Fucking Brands putting their backup players. And the Texans were able to cut, come back somewhat to make the score at least respectable. Uh, next game, pa pa Packers beat the Panthers 33-30. Bryce Young probably had the best performance of his career so far. It's really the main takeaway this game. He was 23-35, 312 yards, uh, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Chuba Hubbard and um, Amir Smith um, Merced. Each had rushing touchdowns, but Bryce Young probably put the best performance of his career so far. DJ Chark, 6 catches, 90 yards, 2 touchdowns. Thalen, 6 for 94, and Trimble, 4 for 59. Uh, Jordan Love had a solid game, 17 of 28, 219 yards, 2 touchdowns, no interceptions. Just the Panthers could not get that stop there at the end, and the Packers hit a, a, a game-winning field goal. Aaron Jones was great, 21 runs, 127 yards, 6 carry. Jordan Love with a rushing touchdown as well, 3 total touchdowns. Uh, Romeo Dobbs. So four catches, 79 yards of touchdown. Melton, four for, for 44 yards. Tyler Kraft for, for six, four for uh, 60. And De Devontae, um, Dontavion Wicks, two for 29 a touchdown. But Bryce Young definitely played the best game of his career so far. I was very impressed with Bryce Young here. 300 plus yards. Packers defense, though, ugh. they might got to fire that freaking defensive coordinator. Are the Falcons fucking destroyed the Colts 29 to 10? Uh, Garner Minshew didn't have a good game, 20-37, barely 200 yards, 200, 201 yards, one interception. They couldn't run the ball either. Jonathan Taylor, 18 runs, 43 yards, 2.4 carrying a touchdown. So they really struggled. Uh, the Falcons ran the ball pretty well. Bijan Robinson, 12 for 72. Tyler Algier, 9 for 69 and a touchdown. Both had over like 6 yards to carry. Algier had 7.7 7 to carry. Heineke was 23 of 33, 229 yards, one touchdown. Bijan Robinson was their leading receiver, seven catches, 50 yards. Um, Drake London, three catches, 39 yards. Kyle Pitts, three catches, 49 yards. Actually, had a touchdown. They spread the ball pretty well, and their defense played pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good in this game. I thought that uh, Atlanta. Uh, Seattle beat Tennessee 20 to 17 with a game-winning uh, field goal uh, there. Geno Smith or a game-winning touchdown, excuse me. Uh, Geno Smith led him down the field, 25-36, 227, two touchdowns, and got that touchdown of Parkinson, three catches, 17 yards, a touchdown, Metcalf, four catches, 56 yards, and a touchdown, Tyler Lockett, eight catches, 81 yards, Smith and Jigba, six for 61, Geno Smith led that freaking drive down the field, Derrick Henry had a passing touchdown this game, Matanio was a good, 18-26, 152, and took an unnecessary sack, I thought, uh, there near the end of the game, with, in the final seconds, I thought, thought it was unnecessary, you gotta throw that football away if you're Ryan Tannehill. Um, Derrick Henry's pretty good, 19 for uh, 88, 4.6 4 carrying a touchdown, Tajay Spears, 9 for 40, 4.4 uh, carry, had a pretty good game, Conquo 6 for 63 and a touchdown, but yeah, not much receiving wise for uh, Tennessee in this game, Seattle, just kind of clutch again, that's two weeks in a row, Drew Locke and now uh, Geno Smith, 
Uh, Tampa Bay beats uh, Jacksonville 30 to 12. Fucking Trevor Lawrence is like trash. 17 to 29, 211, one touchdown, two interceptions, also had a fucking fumble. Bathard come in 11, 15, 94, and a touchdown. Uh, Ridley, 6 for 90, two touchdowns, had a pretty good game. Ingram, 10 catches, 95 yards, but freaking Trevor Lawrence, man, it's looked awful. He had two interceptions in this game, a fucking fumble. He looked pretty fucking bad. Like, I don't know about Trevor Lawrence. I don't, he's not as generational as people thought. Baker Mayfield's been a freaking beast this year. 26 of 35, 283 yards, uh, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He's had 26 touchdowns, to eight picks this year, nearly 3,600 yards in these last in these last three games. He's had eight touchdowns and eight total eight touchdowns and no picks. Like he's been freaking great. Rashad White, 20 runs, 39 yards, 1.9 a carry, one touchdown. Yeah, they really didn't couldn't run the football a lot, but it doesn't matter when you have freaking Baker Mayfield throwing darts. Uh, out there. Mike Evans, 7 catches, 86 yards, 2 touchdowns. Godwin, 6 for 78. Rashad White, 6 for 38. Palmer, 4 for 42. Baker Mayfield's doing a really good job with this uh, Tampa Bay uh, football team here. Like, he's done a phenomenal job. Um, I talked about my Cowboys Dolphins in, a, in the separate video along with the Vikings uh, Minnesota. So, if you haven't watched that, did I say Vikings in Minnesota? I meant Detroit in Minnesota. So, if you haven't go watch that, go watch that and Cowboys and Offense separate recaps. Cardinals beat, the Bears beat the Cardinals 27, uh, 27 to 16. The Bears improved to a 6 and 9 record. They might not fucking fire Matt Aberfluss at the end of the season, but they beat the fucking shit out of Arizona. Justin Fields was 15 of 27, 170 yards, one touchdown, one reception, but they mostly done most of their work on the ground. Khalil Herbert, 20 runs, 112 yards, 5.6 carry and touchdown. Justin Fields, 9 runs, 97 yards, 10.8 a carry and a touchdown. Roshan Johnson, even had 9 for 37 and 4.1 a carry. Cole Komet, 4 catches, 107 yards. Freaking Cole Komet's so fucking underrated. Uh, for the Cardinals, Kyler Murray, 24-38, 230 yards, two touchdowns, so he had a good game, they just couldn't really run the football that much. Uh, James Conner, 5 for 67, touchdown, and uh, Dorch, 2 for 45 and a touchdown, so the Bears, I don't think they're going to fire their head coach, and I think they're going to build around Justin Fields, at least that's what they should do, uh, in my opinion. But here's uh, your final game of the night for the uh, NFL Week 16 recap from the games that I didn't do separately recap, and I just wanted to cover them all in one video. Uh, the freaking Patriots beat the Denver Broncos 26-23. What the hell, Denver? So, they... They got him 23-7 entering the fourth quarter. They scored the first 16 points. Um, freaking Patriots were trying to tank. They freaking tanked away the fourth quarter and where Denver ties it they had the chance to win the game but then um they go they didn't go three and out but I know they had to punt and then the Patriots fucking drove down the field Parker and Gesicki with some big catches Bailey Zappi laid him down the field got a fucking field goal from Chad Ryland who who was stinking up the joint uh most of the game with a freaking two missed extra points I believe he missed a field goal like and then, he, and then he goes out and hits a 56-yarder to win the fucking game. Like, crazy. Uh, Bailey Zappi was 25-33, 256 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Demario Douglas is the ring, leading receiver, five catches, 74 yards. Ezekiel Elliott, nine for 33 in a touchdown. Jalen Rager, two catches, 33 yards. Monte Parker, four catches, 65 yards. Mike Gesicki, two catches, 15 yards in a touchdown. Uh, Preston Perroa Br Brown, 2 for 25. Ty Taquan Thornton, 1 for 11. Russell Wilson was pretty good in that fourth quarter. 25 to 37, 238 yards, 2 touchdowns. It just really wasn't enough. Jerry Jody, 3 catches, 44 yards. Cruel, 4 for 28 in touchdown. McLaughlin, 4 for 30. Fucking Brandon Johnson, 3 for 47 in touchdown. Marvin Mims Jr., 3 for 63. P. Ryan, 4 for 27. Jerry Judy didn't really get much involved until like nearly the fucking fourth quarter. Just, oh, the Broncos aren't going to make the freaking playoffs, man. This is an inexcusable uh, loss here for um, for the Broncos. Broncos country, let's cry. When the Broncos most needed Russ to cook, he, he burnt the food. I don't know why Sean Payton called that freaking timeout. Like, that was terrible. But yeah, it's really all to say for this game, so, um, or for all these games. So, until next time, I'm out a lot. Peace.